there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Gig here and today's message, effective leadership is influence. Nothing more and nothing less. John Maxwell said that leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. It's not position, it's not title. It's the person who has the influence. And how do you get influence? You simply help other people to get what they want and they need. And as a leader, you'll get everything you want and you need, said Zig Ziglar. You know, General Colin Powell offers us four points for effective leadership. If you're in a position of influence, of leadership, and it's an official position, please pay particular attention to today's locker room and pass it on to other leaders. Number one, look past today and monitor the environment for tomorrow. Don't get stuck in the past. Our company was doing business through manual transmission of applications. Today, we are completely converted over to electronic. We no longer look to the past, we look to the future. Number two, challenge the prevailing wisdom. What is the data telling you? If it matches your gut and you're not getting the right results, then do something different. It's true, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So challenge the prevailing wisdom. Number three, guard against competitive myopia. Challenge your model before someone else changes it for you. In other words, the corporate graveyard today is full of organizations that fail to take preemptive action. We see it with IBM, we see it in Google, we see it in all the great companies where someone else comes along and thought of something before they did. Guard against competitive myopia and always be challenging yourself and your people. And number four, make change mean growth. Folks, if we're not growing, then we're dying. Humans resist change though. Change does precipitate growth. Therefore, humans resist growth because they resist change. The only change that we want is the one that we can control. So as leaders, as leaders of people know that people resist change, so you need to help them by showing them what's in it for them. How will this change affect their lives in a significant and meaningful way as well as the organization? Always be prepared to cast vision with your people so that they can understand what these changes will produce. And finally, folks, connect. Simply connect with your people. Make sure that they know that you really do care about them. Effective leadership is influence. And the way you get influence is to help other people to get what they want and they need. Follow these points of General Colin Powell's and you'll be living your best life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, gang. Happy Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the Daily Message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.